Moses was a very interesting character in the Bible. First of all, he was born in a foreign land at a time when his people were slaves and at a time when there was a threat of genocide of boys like him. But miraculously, God spared his life. And then by a series of interesting circumstances, he ended up adopted as the grandson of the Pharaoh. And for the first 40 years of his life, he received training in the best that Egypt had to offer. But God had a purpose for his life that was different from the plans that human beings had for him. And so he went through all of that. And in his heart, just like in the heart of each one of us, were the seeds of his purpose stirring within him. God plants the seeds in our heart. The, the seeds of our purpose are what justifies the conception of us. Otherwise, we shouldn't have made it. And is what continues to justify our continued existence on earth. So, Moses felt the stirrings of his purpose, but God had greater plans for him. And he had to go through a period of training for another 40 years because he thought he was living his purpose by defending the injustice against one of his own. But God needed him for the deliverance of millions of people, not for the defense of just one of them. And so he went through 40 years in the wilderness learning. And it wasn't until the third chapter of his life that he returned to the location of his purpose from where he had fled for 40 years. And he went and started living his purpose. It doesn't matter what age you're at now. God has a purpose for your life. If you have not yet found it, if you have not yet started fulfilling it, you can ask God. Moses did not start until he was 81 years old. Find yours. You may be retired. You may think you are done. But wait until God says you are done. Wherever he sends you, be ready to go. It doesn't matter if you do not feel qualified. God promised Moses, I will be with you. I will be your mouth. I will perform signs and wonders using just what you have in your hand. How old are you? What do you have in your hand? If God has called you, say yes, follow him, and let him take you to where you can start fulfilling your purpose.